In this video we're going to take a look at something called decimal tab. Uh, decimal tabs are something that I wish I had had when I was using a manual typewriter. Um, they're used to line up numbers and if you've ever tried to line up numbers with a typewriter you know how difficult it was. So let's take a look at uh, the decimal tab. First of all, uh, we're going to go up here and cycle through our different types of tabs here. And I just went past the decimal tab, but uh, just, okay, this is probably here by default most of the time. That's our left tab, and then the center tab, and then the right tab. And then the decimal tab looks like a center tab. It's got the upside down T, but there's a little decimal point right there, and that's the only difference. So uh, with that up over here on my tab selector, then I can go over here, and let's go to about the 2-inch mark and click and now I have a decimal tab. Okay, I've got the show hide button pushed in so I can see whenever I hit a tab character. So I'm going to press the tab key right now and I'll get a tab character in my document. And then I'm just going to start typing in a number. And you'll see right now it's just basically uh, working the same as a right tab stop. Everything gets kind of pushed back to the left. And I'm going to go next line and try that again. And um, let's, whoops and let's type in some more numbers. doesn't matter how many digits I type. They're all going to line up their right edge directly underneath that decimal tab stop. So if you can see that dotted line on the video, uh, the 9 and the 4 go right up to it and then they stop. So, um, so far it's just working like a regular right tab stop would work. But here's the neat thing about it. Once you hit the period or the decimal point character, that goes to the right. And anything you type after that also goes to the right. So, and again, it doesn't matter how many digits you have, they will all line up on the decimal point, or actually just uh, to the left of your decimal point. And all of the whole number digits will appear to the left of that point, uh, the decimal point, and any fractional digits will appear to the right. And if I have decimal tabs, just like any other tabs, uh, if I hit the enter key at the end of a line like I did up here, uh, the tab stops carry over to the next line. And also, uh, you know, if after I've done this I decide I want to move it over, all I have to do is select both of them, move the tab stop up here on the ruler, and it will get adjusted for all the lines that I have selected. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, uh, but it's a really useful feature if you need to line up numbers in Word 2016.